Hey traders, T. Bradley 90 here. For those who do not know, Alex took on the challenge recently of seeing how much he can grow a $30,000 account in 30 trading days and the results are in and he made $84,000 in less than 30 trading days, which turned his $30,000 account into $113,000. Alex recently put together a free mentorship course with his mentor, Bao, explaining exactly how he did this. The link is available at myinvestingclub.co slash Alex. There's limited seating every single week, so be sure to reserve your spot. As a very special gift to our YouTube viewers, I want to announce something very special. This is my personal phone number, my personal number that I am putting out to you guys. If you have any questions about joining MIC or on the fence about joining our wonderful club, you can contact me now directly and personally, and I will get back to you. Hey, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about trailing stop losses, their value, the pros, their cons, um, and how they work. So we're going to walk through Snap. Snap is a ticker I traded on Friday based on the chart from Thursday. Snap I traded to the long side and let me just walk through the trade real quick to give you the mindset here oh, and where I was at. Snap is a week open long setup or week open red to green. So you can see the week open here goes red. The dotted line is the previous closing price. It goes red here on this particular move. Now, it continues higher from there. And this is when the trailing stop loss becomes valuable because you never know how far it can go, right? To the downside or to the upside. Sometimes, hey, you just want to hold and find out. So a good way to do that is by setting a trailing stop. That's how you can help yourself ride trends much longer. So in this particular case, Snap, I bought at 1738 down here into this morning washout. I longed it. Now, I did not add to this position until it went above VWAP, this higher high, and the midpoint, which in thinkorswim is uh, not 1750. That's where E-Trade is wrong. Uh, it's actually 1745. So when it reclaimed VWAP, the midpoint, and this higher high here at 1747, I added to the position. When I added to the position, it goes straight in my favor, and I take a little piece off. And now I've got a little, I've got a little bit left, and I've got to decide what I want to do. Uh, what I wanted to do was add when it broke the pre-market highs. If it just went straight up and broke them. So when it started to grind, I was ready to add, but let's say I want to put a trailer on here, okay? The, and let's walk through it with like a Excel file. And here you go. So my average cost was $17.45 roughly after the add. The bid and the ask at the point that I decided to do this was 1755 by 1756. Now let me explain a trailing stop trailer portion. If it is by a dollar amount, that is when it defaults to um, the difference between the bid and the ask by the dollar amount here. So a sell stop loss will default to the bid and a cover or buy stop loss will default to the ask. So if my trailing stop loss is 10 cents, that means <clears throat> that when I set my trailer and the bid and the ask is 1755 by 56, my trailing stop is gonna go to my average, right? It's gonna be my average when I set it. So this would be like using a break-even stop. If the bid goes to 1760 by 1761, my stop loss moves up. It moves up with the price by my trailing stop. Now let's say it goes to 1760, my stop loss is 1750, <clears throat> but when I look at the chart, I see 1750 whole half dollar mark. So maybe I don't want to stop loss riding right at support. Maybe I want it to have to break support in order to stop me out. So at that point, I would change my trailing stop to 15 cents. So my stop loss would now be back to 17.45 or my average. 
Now remember, whatever the bid is at the current time or the ask, depending on what type of stop loss it is, whether it's covering a short or selling a long, so it's going to default to the bid or the ask. So if the bid drops real quickly to 1759 and it stays at 1761 on the ask. My trailing stop, when I set it at 15 cents, it's going to be 1744. So <clears throat> just be aware of that. Um, that is sometimes the discrepancies there. You just have to be clear what the bid and the ask is at that current point in time. Um, and you just have to adjust your trailer accordingly. Um, now, don't think that once you put a trailing stop, you have to stick to that trailer. Uh, once this particular stock continues higher and it gets up here into the 1760s and tests this pre-market high and the high of the day, don't think that you can't just cancel it and let it work uh, or just take your money. But if you don't know where it could go or what it could do and it gets all the way up here to you know 1767 by 1768, now your stop loss is 1752. <coughs> so you want to let it work or you want to just take it off at 1752 and lock in the seven cents a share. This is a good way uh, to be able to pay yourself while letting the trade work in your favor. Uh, and once it fails right here, your, your stop loss changes or it stays. I'm sorry. It stays the same. Once it continues higher, 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 and your stop loss moves higher, 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 Hey traders, T Bradley 90 here, Tosh Bradley from My Investing Club Chat. Just wanted to reach out to you personally and show you how to contact myself personally if you have any questions about joining MIC, about MIC in general, or are on the fence and need a little bit of guidance before you join. For the first time ever, I have put out my personal number for you to reach me directly among my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com and our Twitter and IG handles. Reach out today and get any information you need on what makes MIC so great and why you should join us today.